It's 2 a.m. with Nathan. Psalm 130, verse 5. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in His Word, I put my hope. I have a symbol here of waiting. A little timer from a game. And boy, it seems to run so quickly on your turn, doesn't it? And yet when it's their turn, it runs so slowly. It reminds me of the impatience that we have many times for things. And my kids, when they'll say, can I have a drink of water? And you say, sure, we'll get it in a minute. Oh, I need it now. Can't I have it now? Sure, we'll get it. I'm, I'm getting it now. I just really need it now. And if you just wait a moment, you'll get the water. And of course, we always give them the water, the drink they need. But that, that desire, I need it now. Why can't I have it now? Isn't that sometimes how we treat God? God says, hey, in the right time, I'll give you what, you're, what you need. And we say, oh, Lord, but why do I have to wait? Why can't I have it now? And we push for our timing and our desires instead of waiting for him and his timing. Following my own desires and my timing never ends up good. It reminds me of Reynard III, who was a duke in what is now Belgium. Uh, this is long ago, and his younger brother, Edward, overtook the throne, and he didn't exile him. He didn't uh, kill his brother, Reynard, and said he just put Reynard in the room with windows and with a door, a regular-sized door. And he says, Reynard, you can leave this room, just walk out this room, and, and you can be the king again, or the, the ruler again, and you can have all the authority again. You just have to leave. Because Edward knew that Reynard was controlled by his desires, his immediate desires. And Reynard was already a, a big man, like an obese man. And he couldn't fit through that door. And so all Edward had to do was every day just send him some delicious food. And, and, and Reynard stayed in that prison of which he could have walked out at any point for 10 years. It wasn't until Edward died in battle that they opened the door and, and let him out. And at that point, his health was so deteriorated, he only lived one more year. And so many times, that's exactly what my desire and my timing does to me. It puts me all walled in. And God has an open door, but I'm, I'm trying to make it fit in my timing and what I want. And I miss out on the joy that God has for me. So today, as you go throughout the day, remember that God loves you. Remember that He wants to work in and through your life. And if you belong to Him and you're seeking to follow Him, He's going to work all things for the good. And you can trust His timing to be perfect. Instead of like Raynard, instead be like the little boy who was at the end of the escalator and he's watching that handrail just real intently. And someone came and said, are you lost? He said, no, not taking his eyes off the handrail. He said, I'm just waiting for my chewing gum to come back around. Let's wait for God's timing with that kind of intensity. Just waiting for God's timing so we can move and we know the right time to do the right thing. Before I forget, if you enjoyed this, make sure you like and share it with others so they can enjoy it too. Have a great day.